Good day folks, um, this is another video in our series and this particular video is going to uh, showcase the use of uh, an M2M booster. This is a 900 stroke 2100 megahertz booster, it's machine to machine and uh, we are connecting via our router. This is an industrial router, a 3G dual SIM router. Uh, this can do failover and um, obviously this is a laptop we're going to be connecting the laptop and this router has some unique features features uh, you can actually have a look at the uh, signal strength uh, before and after and that is exactly what we're going to do in this video uh, right now at the moment um, I'm going to connect this laptop to this router but the connection is going to be directly to this router. We are inside a room right now, uh, inside a living room, and then it's actually in a deck. And uh, the signal strength here is quite poor. So we're going to do uh, a before and after scenario. Um, somebody's going to be helping me out, my assistant. She's going to be helping me out with it and while I do the thing. So, um, just. Yeah, she's going to be helping me out. Uh, right now, this is what I'm going to do. It's connected right now. We have the um, um, M2M. Sorry, not the M2M. Uh, we have the industrial router. It's going to be connected to power. We have a SIM card inside. And um, there's an external cellular antenna. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn on, I'm going to turn on the booster and connect to the internet. can see a spiral there so uh, just uh, kindly pan, pan to this place uh, hang on. so this is what we're going to do the router is going to do a power on self test which is actually doing right now we have an antenna this that's a cellular antenna and that's a Wi-Fi antenna of this um, router this is a 3G version from the one we earlier um, did a review on. This is a 3G version. It's identically the same thing, but the models inside is different. Uh, this is uh, for WCDME. The earlier one was for FDDLTE. So the modulation scheme is different. Yeah. Um, so the router has been configured and then I'm just waiting for it to come up. Once it comes up, you're gonna see uh, the signal strength and we're gonna see how good the signal is. Okay. Um, right now, you can't see, let me zoom a little bit, you can see we have two bars out of three bars right now. We have two bars here out of three bars and we don't have any um, network connect, any, we don't have nothing connected to the LAN port. We have four free LAN ports and one one port is not connected. And the Wi-Fi is not yet connected because it's not blinking. So um, I'm going to go to the system and you're going to see, uh, pardon me for the shaky uh, video. So maybe I'm trying to do it together my, uh, let's see. Sorry about that. I think I'm connected to the uh, 4G router. No, um, let me pick the correct one here. It's already set up and then. Is now we're connected to the correct, um, correct LAN. And once we connect it, okay, that's telling me. Yeah, I'm connected to, to the right system. All right, uh, now I'm going to go here and uh, log on to the router. So that's the router. And I'm going to status. If I go to status, I go to the one status. And here, this is one thing about this router that I like. Um, it shows you the signal strength. Um, that's it. <clears throat> that is a signal strength. Uh, minus 83 dBm. 
it's using HSDPA or HSUPA. Um, high speed data packet access and uh, operate too. So um, you can see from that. And another feature of this router that I wanted to show the last time. Uh, with this router, you can actually see what you're using, the traffic. You can see daily traffic, monthly traffic on it. Uh, you can see that. That's for the month, for 30 days. And you can see the daily traffic. If you hover your, your mouse cursor over, it tells you exactly what you're seeing. That's for September 6th. You know. So for September 9th, we've not done anything today. We've not used it today. Okay. Basically, this is what I want you to see. Um, okay, so it's a little bit better now. 77, let me refresh and then you are going to see a difference. We have 77 dBm right now. That's about um, three bars. No, four, four bars or how many bars is it? Four, four bars. And then here on the equipment is still two bars. So now we'll go ahead. I'm going to uh, switch off this router and I'm going to connect the M to M modem to it. And then we're going to see a marked difference. Uh, how it works. Okay. All right. My assistant will be doing that. Okay. All right. You turn off the router. Okay. All right. That's that's that. Okay. So now I want you to um, remove this here. Here. Just take this off. Just unscrew it. No, not that one. Not this one. Okay. This one. This one. Don't worry. I'm going to take this off. Um, this is the antenna. Ant antenna. This is the antenna that comes with it. So this, let's put that there. And this is the M to M router. You have the, uh, that's the outdoor, sorry, it's a little bit dirty. Uh, and then you have the indoor. The outdoor is connected to another antenna. Sorry, what's that antenna? Okay, that antenna over there, that's simulating outdoor. We could actually put that one outside or we could just put it somewhere, maybe close to the window or whatever. Uh, but that's the thing. That's the whole idea. You get the whole idea. And this is the indoor. This is the output, which actually feeds this. Sorry for the shaky video. Uh, I'm just trying to get better. Okay. It uses an SME female connector it's a standard in routers and all that um, okay so right now we have that and um, what we're going to do is we're going to power up both systems now okay so uh, power the router and also um, the um, power the router first power the router Oh, you didn't connect it. Okay, you took up the power. Hang on. There we go. Okay. And then power up this one too. Okay, let's see. Okay, so that's the M2M. It's on right now. Okay. Uh, that's uh, for, for your information. It's an M2M router. It's made for machine to machine. Um, what we have here, you could use it in remote terminals. You could use it in ATMs or, or different applications, you know, uh, telemetry and uh, remote metering. You can do that there. And this basically, so uh, while it's powering up, it's just doing a power and self test. Just waiting okay so right now you can see visual representation 
this is connected this uh, in this situation this booster is connected to this router uh, direct connect that's why it's M to M direct connect machine to machine so right now you can see from here first we have full bars here it's full and then you also see here it's online it means it's connected now we're going to go to the system and we're going to see um, the signal strength when we log on to the router uh, let's see uh, let me just refresh here uh, let me see if I'm connected to that system okay it changed uh, to okay we're connected so now all I just need to do is refresh okay okie dokie you can see what we have there we have minus 53 dBm and that is a very good signal that is excellent this is minus 53 degree oh uh, sorry it's minus 53 dbm it's fluctuating right now minus 59 earlier on we had minus 51 earlier this morning right now we have minus 53 once again uh, we can see this is what we have and we can browse uh, the internet is a lot much faster and um, which side do I go? Red Hat. Let me just try Red Hat. Let's open. Let's see. Now there we are. It's open. Um, what I would have done earlier was to do a speed test before, but um, to refresh oh, that's red hat from here the signal is better uh, the signal feeding the router is better so the router actually makes use of it and then it optimizes the router um, this setup can be used for an email remotely you can use it to provide internet access remotely to a uh, to a body to a small company it's also more of like an enterprise router so you can actually connect to an access point um, with what we have on ground we can connect to access points I don't know I think uh, maybe there's something wrong which I've not loaded something so that's why this is not opening yeah so what um, Okay. okay, but the basic thing is uh, we've been able to uh, establish the fact that when you connect um, the M2M booster to the router, you know, it gives you a higher signal strength, and that is 53 dBm as against um, uh, 83, between 83 to 79 that we were getting when we weren't connected. Um, this uh, is actually one thing we want to showcase and I believe strongly maybe with the upcoming uh, update that we're going to do we'll be able to see more features and we're going to get something better to you thank you have a great day